Battery Eagles, what's happening? It's game day, it's the first home game of the season, or as Cranners likes to say, the hive game of the 2017-18 season. It's Barnet v Luton Tan. So we kick off our very first home game of the season in a derby, and Luton come into this on the back of an 8-2 win over Yeovil Tan. I hate to say it, but they are my tip to go up this year. I hope I'm wrong, but we are in for a very difficult time today. But anyway, that's enough of chatting, but let's just get into the football news. So Luton finished fourth last year, played 46, won 20, drew 17, lost 9, scored 70, conceded 43, and ended on 77 points. And that was enough to clinch them a playoff position, and they lost the least amount of games as well last season. And in the playoffs, they played Blackpool and lost... Now, Luton Town's danger when they've selected could be Danny Hilton, who scored 22 in 41 last season, Isaac Vassell, who got 9 in 42 appearances, and they recently signed James Collins from Crawley Town, who got 20 in 45 last season, and he scored a hat trick on his debut for Luton Town. So, like I said, difficult time ahead. Last time we played Luton was only last season. Luton winning 1 0. But the last time we played Luton and won at home was back in 2016. Luke Gambin and John Akindi getting the goals to give us a 2 1 win. Luke Gambin now plays for Luton and John Akindi unavailable for this game. But once the team news is in, I'll bring that to you. But on a side note, I just want to say that I've hit over 700 subscribers now. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that watches, subscribes, likes, shares, everything. Thank you to every single one of you. But don't stop now, all right? Because the season just started and like you know loads of games need the money okay so keep doing it all right so the team's in it's the same formation against peterborough so we're going with stevens in goal a back for us santos nelson to tonda your fullbacks johnson and harry taylor the midfield of valetti weston it's good to see him in there because we're going to need him today campbell rice up front call first akpar akpro your bench looks like ross clark jack taylor akinola bother fongu amaluza i'm with duncan today duncan what do you think of the team the uh, best part of the vlog is I like <laughs> team wise apart from no Kinde, I think we're fairly happy with that, aren't we? Prediction wise, I think, got to be honest, I'm, I'll be happy with the draw, to be fair. Bit of big news, two bits of big news. I'm sponsoring this, lads. I'm sponsoring his uh, Sunday team. We are called Hearts Rangers so, FC. So, Hearts Rangers FC are being sponsored by me. Timber Windows, Austin Albans. I, I agree with you lot. I think this vlog is far better without me. But, you know, he insists on putting the camera at me. So, do it half time. But what I do want today is a, uh, a good game of football. And I want the best team to win, which is bollocks. No, I don't. I don't give a shit if Luton hit the bar 10 times and we get a penalty on the 90th minute. As long as Barnet win, we'll be happy. Fuck Luton and all they stand for. Don't mince your words or mm -hmm. anything, Duncan, will we are? So kickers just around the corner. Once we get some action, I'll bring that to you. First minute in and there's an injury. Elliot Johnson straight away. He's got to come off and that's all we need. First home game and our starting left back's now injured. Brilliant. Let's hope he ain't out for too long. We are making a sub. Plus coming on for Johnson. Hopefully he ain't out for too long. I'd say Totonda goes in that left wing back role now. 11 minutes in, Barnett free kick just outside the area. Free header to Shaq, couldn't guide it far enough. Still nil nil. 40 minutes in, first real chance from Luton. Nice little bit of play down the left hand side. Couldn't convert though. Still nil nil. Too much long ball at the moment from Barnett. 16 minutes in, a corner from Luton. Plus missed the header. What a save that was. What a fucking save that was. They've had a shot. Jamie's pulled off a fantastic save. Knocks it onto the bar. It landed at Vassell's feet, but he couldn't convert. 34 minutes played. Ari's taking a smack in the face here. Looks like he's coming off a bit of treatment. And the ref's not seen it. Yeah, we're making a sub. Jack's coming on for his brother, Ari. Belletti looks like he's going to fall in. Right, fullback position. 39 minutes. Free kick to Barnett just on the edge of the area. Nothing done with it. We haven't tested our keeper at all. So it's half time and it's Barnett nil, Luton nil. Not been a great performance by Barnett. We're doing far too many long balls. Luton look a bit more comfortable. They've had a bit more possession. They've attacked us more than we've attacked them. Actually saying that, I don't even think we've even had a shot on target at the moment. It's still nil-nil, so we're still in this, but we did say it's going to be a difficult game for us. We've had two injuries straight away. Our two fullbacks, Elliot and Harry, have come off. Big 45 minutes now. Far too many long balls. Jamie's kept us in this game. Bro, go to Dunk. Dunkin. Listen, it's, it's, it's anyone's game. Luton aren't impressing. We're not impressing. But we're doing nothing up front. Second half's about to start. Hopefully we can improve and up our game. First real chance of the second half. Akpar's running on the byline. Knocked it back. Camera Rice sits it wide. Good start from Barnett. Still having hit that target though. 53 minutes in, we've had our first shot on target. Camera Rice has gone out for a corner. Didn't really lead so much. We came back out. Valetti's had a shot. Straight into the keeper. 67 minutes played. Luton's had a very dangerous attack down this left hand side. Had a shot cross goal. 82 minutes played. Disgusting. Challenge on Jack Taylor. Rest bottled it there. Should have been a straight bread. Go on, Jack, knock it back, knock it back. Go on. Oh. No, fucking in the ball. 
86 minutes play. Jack Taylor does a brilliant run into the box, cuts it back to Valetti. Valetti tries walking it in the goal. Yeah! Yeah! Smashing grab right here. We do not deserve this, but I don't give a fuck. 94th minute, Luton get a corner. Ball comes in, free header. Stevens tips it over the bar. Come on, Barnett, let's hold on. So the game finished, Barnett won, losing Tan, nil. Now even though Barnett have won, it's come at a cost. Elliot Johnson and Harry Taylor both came off injured. You look at that first half and you think, how are we even still in this game? Jamie Stevens kept us in it with a few fantastic saves. And then you go into the second half and you look around and you can ask any Barnett fan, how did we win that? But what a way to win it. Jack with his first goal for Barnett, a 25 yard scream in the 91st minute. What a way to get your first ever goal for Barnett, to beat your local rivals. We knew it was going to be a difficult game, and you can kind of say that we not shut up shop, but we made it difficult for Luton to play. They did have more chances than us. They did control the ball and possession more, and I don't think we had our first shot on target until the 60th minute. But, like I said, this was a smash and grab game, and that's all it was going to take. It was either going to be a win for Luton, or it was going to be a draw, and maybe a draw was a fair result. In a way, I'm kind of glad we've won this way, because it shows we can win ugly. Instead of playing nice, pretty little passing football and coming away with nothing, we've grinded out a result. Don't know how we've done it, but we've hit it and got it. So well done to all of the players, Rossi, Alex, everyone getting us through this win again. Hopefully, Elliot Johnson, Harry Taylor, let's hope that they're back very, very soon. So that's all I've got for you at the moment, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. Share this video with all your friends. So until next time, which will be a way to crew, I'll see you later.